Hello, Community Resource Project. I'm such a fool for talking the way I did to you. I had no right. I'm so ashamed. Ted? I'm going out of my mind. You don't deserve that. Look, you don't have to apologize. It's, it's over and it's forgotten. Oh, God. Really, it's, it's totally forgotten. Because that's not the way I treat people. I won't be bothering you anymore. But I just wanted you to know that. Ted, go to bed and get some sleep. Okay? <laughs> okay. Good night. Community Resource Project. I want to flank you till your teeth hurt. I want to eat your oyster. I want to run my tongue through your tuna. I want to feel your teeth on my rod. I'm sorry, I'm late for an appointment. Uh, look like you're late for an apartment. Excuse me. Uh, Ted, be careful. Mercury in retrograde. Bad shit. Hello, Community Resource Center. You are the queen, my dear. Herb, Herb. What? It's him. He, he's talking dirty again. Will you go get him? Jesus, he's at the oh. intercom. When I think about the mic, just get covered with shivers. I'll take care of it. Okay? Let's go! You have a super spine. It's very important for sex. Because you have to have a strong backbone to control your pelvis. I've been reading that Kama Sutra. Ooh, and your teeth. I just love your teeth. You have such strong white teeth. Oh, I'd love to feel your teeth on my rod. What are you doing? Huh? You had your tongue in the intercom. I was talking to Linda. You had your tongue right inside the speaker. I, I was just talking to Linda. Linda doesn't want to see you. Says who? Says Linda. Man. What is this, 20 questions? She told me two minutes ago. How was she? She was OK, wasn't she? Would you shut up and listen for a second? Linda doesn't want to see you. Is there something wrong with her? For Christ's sake! She's fine. She just wants you to leave her alone. to be in love with her. Oh, Jesus. Look, here's five bucks. Uh, just cool it, OK? I won't cool it. I haven't seen Linda. Go! I started to write a song about you today. But the right words, they just would not do. I think it's time for honesty. I never liked the way you It just dawned on me. I've been giving you the wrong advice. You've got to give this everything you got. you got to pursue this woman to the ends of the earth and back. Nothing is too treacherous or too dangerous for you to pursue your, your vision. A great work of art is always out of reach. 
And then one day, when you're ready to give up, when you've given it every ounce of your blood and your sweat, then suddenly, there it is. It's real. You can touch it. You can feel it. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Great, I'll see you at Evelyn's shower. Bye. by the last thunderbolt, a trifle singed as I came through the ether. My eyes are full of stardust. What do you want, asshole? I want you to go out with me. Where do you fucking get off? Get out of here! Will you go out with me? No, I will not go out with you. I'm gonna ask you one more time, and if the answer is no again, I'm gonna start this thing and begin cutting my fingers off. You really are crazy! Will you go out with me? Get out of here! Just get out of here! Please! Okay. I warned you. Ah, uh, just a second. me well I recommend self-help 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 what are you talking about well you said you had a boyfriend right so so have your boyfriend punch him out hey that hurt that's the point dorkhead it's supposed to hurt <laughs> Linda honey is that you
You see, the thing about women is that some of them are so incredibly hard-headed that you just can't make any headway with them. I mean, that may be the problem with Linda. You knock yourself out over, and for what? You're probably frigid to begin with. I don't care. When you're planning on marrying someone, you don't just throw in the towel because a few problems come up. Marriage? You're talking about marriage? Kid, what is your story, man? What is my story, man? My story, man, is that I love her. You don't love her. You don't even know anything about her. You got some kind of a fixation thing, that's all. I mean, what is it with you? Huh? Do you know anything about her, really, huh? Yeah, I know lots of things. Well, what is her favorite color? Does she like raw fish? Has she ever been to Europe? Who is this woman to you, anyway? Who does she represent? Your mother? Don't bring my mother into this! Yeah, buddy, hey, you know, women are put on this earth to be enjoyed, and you're not enjoying her, huh? When you love somebody, you take on a responsibility to make that person happy. And she's not happy. You're not making her happy. So... You know, you got to get your own life in order. How are you going to marry her anyway? You don't even have a fucking job. You got money. Oh, yeah, disability? What's wrong with disability? The bank cashes my checks. You know, women want security. Not a disability check once a month. Linda doesn't care about money. Oh, yeah. Right. And having sex gives you cancer. Mmm. Delicious. It's not as good as yours. It's the sour cream. <laughs> I know. I remember. You know, honey, I think you're going to have to get a restraining order. How do I do that? You just go in front of a judge, you explain the problem, and he issues an order. Then this bastard can't bother you anymore. He can't talk to you, he can't come within, I don't know, I think it's 15 yards of you or something. I think you're going to have to do it. Mom, I know I'm depressed about this, but you know... It's also my job that's starting to get to me. I mean, every day I have to deal Can with all you? of these problems. No housing, beached seals. Beach seals? Linda! I don't believe this is happening. Did you get my recent letters? Were you pleased? D did you understand, Linda? No. Well, how come? Young man, that happens to be my daughter. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, of course, I, I, I could see the resemblance. Let the crap. If you so much as lay a finger on my daughter, I'll have both of your legs broken and your tongue removed with an ice pick. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. charged with a violation of section 653M of the penal code making an obscene phone call with intent to harass. It's a misdemeanor. How do you plead? Not guilty. <laughs> 